This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. This message is brought to you by ThePowerMagazine.com and HowMuchYourBench.net. We got a question here today for the Power Project about the Zercher Squat. Does the Zercher Squat help your deadlift more or does it help your squat more? First of all, let's talk about what the hell a Zercher Squat is. Uh, Louis Simmons of Westside Barbell has invented a Zercher squat harness that makes a Zercher squat easier, but basically a Zercher squat sits in the crooks of your elbow. The barbell will normally sit in the crooks of your elbow unless you're utilizing the harness, and then the barbell will be resting on the harness, almost like a front squat harness, except for it rests a little bit lower. There's some different points on it, but if you're doing a regular Zercher squat, uh, it's usually recommended that you use a thicker barbell. The thinner the barbell uh, that it is, the more it will cut into your elbows and the more it will hurt. <laughs> and Zercher squats are painful to begin with. A Zercher squat is usually done out, out of a rack, um, setting, the pins, uh, setting the pins up so the weights are uh, six to eight inches off the floor, somewhere in that range. Because otherwise it's just too hard to get down there and pick them up. Some people can, but 99% of the population really can't. So you're going to hook the weight into the crooks of the elbow here. You're going to get underneath the weight, and then you're going to try to squat that weight up with a fairly wide stance. Now when you do that, you're going to notice that your back is going to want to round over. It's very difficult to stay tight, and it just wreaks havoc on your body. It's a great exercise, uh, it's, but it's really going to kind of get into that lower back quite a bit. One of the reasons why a lot of people have abandoned the Zercher squat is due to the fact that your arms end up being somewhat of a limiting factor. Thus, the Zercher Harness by Louis Simmons of WestsideBarbell.com. Um, <clears throat> either way, it's still a great exercise even when the arms are a limiting factor, but you're going to want to do it for repetitions, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, five plus reps, something like that. And that's normally what I'd recommend for a good morning as well. We can kind of talk about specialty exercises in general here for a second and realize that they are just special exercises and that they are not the exercise themselves. Nothing will ever replace the actual exercise itself. I sometimes refer to uh, the second movement that I do for the day as a secondary barbell movement. But really the truth is, if it's secondary, why bother doing it in the first place unless it's a priority? So anyway, <clears throat> um, secondary barbell movements are very effective because normally when I do them, I'm taking the first exercise and I'm either making it more challenging by adding reps or making it more challenging by increasing the range of motion or uh, adding some sort of overload to uh, uh, adding some sort of overload method such as a reverse band, a slingshot. Uh, or a partial range of motion, a higher box, uh, deadlifting off of, uh, uh, you know, having the weight set up on blocks and, and things of that nature. So always realize that nothing will replace the actual exercise itself, and nothing can mimic the actual exercise itself uh, quite as well as the exercise itself. So in the case of, like, let's say a squat, how do I prevent my butt from shooting up in the squat? There are special exercises that you can employ that you can utilize that'll actually help quite a bit however nothing will help more than actually squatting how do you get better at squatting squat more how do you get better at deadlifting deadlift more now on the other hand there's only so much deadlifting and squatting you can do and part of the beauty of exercises that are not done with a barbell is the simple fact that it's an exercise that's not done with a barbell such as, uh, you know, say like banded good mornings or GHRs or um, lat pull downs or seated rows. These are exercises that are not as harsh, not as demanding on the body. But are they some sort of great recipe for getting stronger? Not really. Has anyone ever really gotten stronger from doing lat pull downs? Not unless you're like a 75 year old woman and have no strength to begin with. Um, the beauty of barbell exercise is that they are barbell exercises and that they are brutal and that they are demanding. And that's what makes you strong. The, the more brutal something is, the less safe it is, the better opportunity you have to get stronger in a lot of cases. Not all the time. You don't have to go too crazy with that. You don't need to kill yourself in the gym. But So the point is you're going to need a little bit of balance. 
between the barbell exercise and the specialty exercises. Something in the case of like a zercher squat, does it help your deadlift more than it helps your squat? That's a difficult question to answer. Uh, and I would have to say that, that would be a highly individual thing. So <clears throat> if, you're, uh, <clears throat> if you're weak at it, I would work at it because it means that there's a lagging body part somewhere. And by working on it, you can help bring up that body part. But in my opinion, a lot of times some of these exercises are better done for sets of five, sets of three. Three sets of five will probably get you better results than just chasing after heavy singles, especially in the case of a zercher squat. So for you, will it help your deadlift more than it will help your squat? I'm not sure. Try it out. See if you like it. And, uh, <clears throat> and report back to me. That's what the Power Project's all about. I'm taking feedback from you guys and um, putting it in, old, in the old giant fat dome up here, mixing it up, and then spitting it back out and sharing it with the world. Embrace your fears and protect your dreams. Follow through on your dreams, and that is it from supertraining.tv. Later.